it's always funny looking back, right? It's always nice to sort of reflect on the what could have been and what may have been and all the possibilities. It's nice looking back at that, knowing that the Baltimore Ravens and Lamar Jackson were able to come to a contract agreement on the deal worth up to $260 million. Uh, but this report from Jeremy Fowler came out a few days back. Um, and it said that the Ravens, they were considering drafting Will Levis. <laughs> considering drafting Will Levis. Had they not come to a contract agreement with Lamar Jackson. And I know when I saw that, initially I was like, huh, okay. Well, I mean, I get it. Not that I, I wanted this rotten banana eaten mayonnaise in the coffee quarterback, but I, I get the business. It's business. And you got to stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. This is why we didn't trip when the Ravens had Anthony Richardson on like 50 visits uh, when they met with him like 50 times. Because, again, stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. Obviously, the, the hope and the goal and what we all wanted the most, well, a lot of us. I know there's some people out there that didn't want Lamar Jackson back, but ah, you got to deal with it now. But anyway, the hope and the goal was that Lamar Jackson would be returning to the Baltimore Ravens. That, that's what so many of us had hoped for. So many of us were just wanted to, wanted to see it happen. Uh, and we're glad that it did. But there was the possibility that it wouldn't happen. And if you're the Baltimore Ravens, um, this was such a, a pivotal offseason uh, for the Ravens in so many different ways, as we have all gone over, as you all already know. Uh, but there were so many different things that were ha happening this offseason that moves that were made, uh, people that they moved on from, people that they brought on. It, it's just so much going on this offseason and still so much more to go. Um, but I, I understood it. I understood the why behind it. Um, but I'm glad, that, <laughs> I'm glad that it didn't happen. Let's read what Jeremy Fowler had to say. He said, in the absence of a Lamar Jackson deal by the start of the draft, I believe after asking around that the Ravens would have considered quarterback Will Levis with the 22nd overall pick. Finalizing a deal for Lamar Jackson before Thursday night was prudent for Baltimore, which could implement the possibility of drafting a passer as leverage. Then uh, Jeremy Fowler also said after the draft, leverage would shift to Lamar Jackson, potentially weakening the chance at a deal because Baltimore's QB options would be scarce unless they selected one on day one or two. This is a moot point after Jackson and the Baltimore Ravens agreed to terms on a five-year, $260 million extension a few hours before the draft kicked off. Had that not gone down, the QB option could have been tempting, and Levis was the best option at 22. So, we always talk about how timing is everything. We always talk about how uh, deadlines, deadlines, they spark action. Um... Two sides, they could be talking about something for a long time, as the Ravens and Lamar have been talking about this for a long time. Two sides could be going back and forth in negotiations for a while. Two sides could be giving their offers and their counter offers to each other for a very, very large amount of time, but they could go nowhere. There could be little progress. And that's what we continue to hear for the longest between Lamar and the Ravens, that there just hadn't been much progress. Um, and they did keep so much stuff tight-lipped. They didn't let a lot get out. We heard rumors and reports and stories and read articles and heard this and that. But the Ravens and Lamar, they, they, they pretty much kept everything uh, on the low for the most part. Um, but that's why it was no coincidence that while it wasn't an official deadline, it was sort of an official deadline, the NFL draft. Because you had some quarterbacks in there that were expected to go uh, in the first round. And Ravens, they, they didn't have their quarterback officially. Yeah, they had him on a non-exclusive franchise tag, but they didn't officially have their quarterback. And the only guys they had on the roster were Tyler Huntley and Anthony Brown. So that wouldn't be enough. That, that, that wouldn't be enough. 
Um, so you could understand why, yeah, this was a real possibility of them drafting a quarterback this year, and whether it's Will Levis or not. Them drafting a quarterback was a real possibility, especially if they did not have Lamar locked up. Um, but, again, I'm glad, <laughs> glad that they got the deal done. Uh, so all this, yeah, like, like, like Jerry Fowler said himself, this is all a moot point. It don't even matter. Uh, it's just it's nice to reflect, uh, but it's nice to reflect knowing what happened, knowing what actually did go down. Uh, it's nice to look back and be like, oh, okay, <laughs> We dodged a bullet. And, hey, we'll, we'll see how Will Levis does. Because I believe, what did he get drafted by the Titans in the, in the second round, I think? Uh, but we'll see how he does. We'll see how all these young rookie quarterbacks do. Richardson, Stroud, Young, all, all of them. Uh, I hope they all do well. But I'm just glad that we got uh, Lamar Jackson. I, I'm glad that we're keeping Lamar Jackson. Because, in, in my opinion, um, Lamar Jackson gives these Baltimore Ravens the best chance at winning right here, right now. Um, with these other quarterbacks, I'm sure they're talented. I'm sure they, hey, the sky's the limit for them. It really is. And we're going to see how each of them do in the NFL. But with these other quarterbacks, see, there's so much unknown about what they can do in the league. There's a lot of unknown. With Lamar... There's still some unknown about what he can do in this league, but you have a lot that you do know already. But the reason I say there's still some unknown is because we haven't seen Lamar's full potential yet. We have not seen it. And it's been something that y'all know I have said at continuous times that I just felt like with the Baltimore Ravens, the way that they had moved and operated, that we would never, if Lamar stayed with the Ravens, it's one thing that I feared, that we would never see his true potential based on their philosophy, based on how they did things, based on how they ran the show. But this offseason, it seems that they're going in a different direction. It seems that the philosophy is really shifting. It seems like it's really upgrading. They said, all right, Greg Roman out, Todd Munkin, you in. It's like, okay. All right. They, the way that they've approached the wide receiver position, it's like, whoa, 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 okay. I like it. And, uh, again, not just with, with, with the Odell Beckham Jr. thing, obviously, because that was huge, them going that way, but even them continuing to go in the first round and get a receiver. And the thing about this, hey, none of the first-round receivers that Eric DaCosta have drafted, none of them have been bad. Hollywood obviously wasn't bad. Rashad Bateman ain't been bad. So Zay Flowers, hey, I'm excited for him. The, 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 the wide receivers that Eric DaCosta has drafted in the first round have not been bad. How, Hollywood, he made his plays. Rashad Bateman, when he was out there, he can make some plays too. So with Zay Flowers, I'm hoping, the, the, I'm hoping he follows suit. I'm hoping he follows suit. And with him being a, a Florida Raven, uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure that he will. But, again, shout out to Lamar. Shout out to Eric DaCosta for sealing this deal. So we, we don't have to even think about uh, what life would have been like without Lamar Jackson. Because that would have been really sad to see him in another team's jersey. But, that, I mean, I, I expected it to happen. Um, but I'm so glad to have been wrong about that. So thank you. Team Keep It Clean like Lamar Jackson is not when it comes to the Baltimore Ravens. And like he won't be anytime soon when it comes to being a Baltimore Raven. I'm out. I love y'all.